Can I put my finger in it? Okay. <laughs> what if it's supposed to push it down, you know? <laughs> this is not the Nigerian in me coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the bush. The hood. Yeah. <laughs> Shave from the hood. Shave from the hood, man. Hello guys, welcome to The Source. We've been here three times. What keeps you coming to Kenya? The first time I came was for Coke Studios. Yes, yes. Second time I came was to promote my music mm -hmm. and promote my, mm -hmm. my brand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here to promote a song yes. featuring Harmonize called Komaro. A very dope song. Thank you so much. Give me five. So, thank yeah. you. What does Komaro mean? Let it roll. So in our context, we mean mm -hmm. let the booty roll. It's uh -huh. like a booty roll. Tootsie roll, tootsie roll. Hey, twerk, hey, twerk, twerk, twerk. hey. Yeah. How Not really? has the reception well, been? Yeah, yeah. Komaro reception has been dope. I mean, it was trending the first week of its release in Nairobi and in yes, Lagos. Yes. So, you know, I'm really happy about that. But thanks to East Africa, Kenya in particular, yeah. you guys really made that shit pop. And I'm so grateful. In fact, I owe you guys my career because you made murder pop, you made right now pop, you yes. made shade or shade pop. Right now. I'm so, I'm so happy. Yeah. Are you planning to work with a Kenyan artist? I would around? love to work with Avril. I heard she's really good. Oh wow! And yes, I really want to, yeah. She and is. I really want to work with um, Salty Soul because they Definitely. owe me a collaboration. You guys Definitely. owe me. You owe me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Kenyan award-winning. Yes. Oh, Yes, that would be a great collaboration. Yes, I think so too. I Your think that, you know, let me tell you why I say they owe me. YOLO uh -huh. YOLO, which yes. was one of my last singles. Yes, yes. They were actually supposed to be on that record. Song? Yeah. What happened? Long story. Ask them now. Ask Savara. He'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Savara, we're coming to ask you what happened. Right. You've been raised um, in Britain um, and you're Nigerian. Um, how has these two um, influences, like, brought you up? Well, I grew up in the, in, in the UK in the late 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was a lot of reggae music and a lot yeah. of ska music and yeah. R&B. Yeah. So I think that's where I got my soul mm -hmm. from, the soulful mm -hmm. tones and soulful style of singing. Yeah. Um, my parents are Nigerian. Yes. My mom was a chorister. My brother was a DJ. Yeah. Um, my first memory that's of... That's where you get your music my, that's, where I get my, that's where I get my influences from, yeah. Okay. To be honest, my first memory of um, Afrobeat is Falakuti, genuinely. Uh, yeah. 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 What, what would you say is your favorite song that you've written for someone else? To be honest, um, I think White Lies. It's one of my favorite choruses I've ever written in my life. Yeah. Oh look, our tea is ready. Is our it? tea is ready, yes. Oh wow. So I heard there's like a tea festival thing going on. Yes, there, there is. is usually a tea festival. Yeah. Um, I've heard of it, right. but I've never been to it. Right. But then I suppose it's a good thing. Right. Will you have it with honey? I will. Okay. So this tea is hibiscus, purple yes. hibiscus you said? Yes. Right. I'm not sure how you're supposed to serve it. I think you just pour it, man. I think I just pour it, man. Just go for Kenyan it. Kenyan in me and... Don't worry, we I'm Nigerian. It if it was me, I would. This is my cup. This is my mug. We call it Mshamba. 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 A person who is not well cultured. Why, is right, right. Mshamba. Mshamba. We, we call it bush. Bush. Yeah. Okay. Then your bush, a Mshamba. Yeah, Mshamba. <laughs> so do you like tea? I love tea. I love tea. I drink a lot of green tea and a lot of peppermint tea. Uh huh. What else do you like? I love a to cook. Uh huh. I cook a lot. Um, although, because I don't eat red meat anymore, it's not as fun. Yay! <laughs> we also have that in common. However, you know, there's some really great recipes with fish and chicken. Mm -hmm. um, I eat a lot of, I drink a lot of smoothies, because for me, smoothies is a really good way of getting all my really healthy foods, vegetables mm -hmm. and fruits mm -hmm. in without having to bite them and chew them. Yeah. Um, and I love sleeping. Sweet. Let's cheers to that, in fact. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. It's so good. This is tasty. Mm, nice. Yeah, I could actually drink this. Me too. So, um, you're here for Coke Studio. Let me take you I back. I was here for Coke Studio. Let yeah. me take you back. And you worked with um, J.A. Yeah. What happened? Why did you guys never release a song? Well, I, to be honest with you, um, we did that Coke Studio collaboration. Yes, yes. And I feel like that's where it was supposed to, you know, that's what was, it was supposed to be. That's it, yeah. But J.A. is a, a great um, great artist. He, he yeah. always has been. Yeah. And it was just a nice experience. Yes, I loved it. What would you say is your style of music? 
I, I, you know what, contemporary, popular, like I'm all of those. Mm -hmm. I don't really box myself. And I don't, think, I, I don't think I have to, and I don't think I should have to. I feel mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 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 the American act, they do, they go from rock to R&B, to soul, to hip hop, to classical, opera, yeah. and they get away with it, they do it. Um, I feel like just because we are Africans, we're used to what we like and what we're used to. Yeah. But I think that, you know, it, it, times have changed now and we're evolving. Mm -hmm. And I think people are accepting now different styles of music from one artist now. Yeah, definitely. Your style is funky, Thank you. if I can say so. Thank you. It's very cool. But Thank then you. what would you define your fashion sense as? I would just say classic, edgy chick. Yeah. I dress according to my mood. You know, yeah. So Definitely. like, if I'm, yeah, you know. So like, this morning I, w I had an interview on radio, mm -hmm. and I wore a chalabia, which is like a kimono. Uh -huh. uh, okay. And then this afternoon I'm feeling quite funky and cool. Yeah. And I was coming to have tea with you. Yes. I said, let me jazz up the tea a <laughs> bit. Some tea, wear some, some tea. hot pants and a t-shirt. You know. Many people, um, entertainers, have delved into other things apart from music, like starting their own hairlines, nails lines, perfume lines. Is this something that you're looking to do in? With regards to nails, hair and stuff like that, yeah, this mm. year I do plan on. In fact, I'm already talking with certain um, manufacturers about yeah. my own line. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Thank we, you. We're definitely looking forward to that. Um, so final question, yes. and I want to ask you and something then can we eat? a little bit. Yes, we yeah. can eat. Is lunch on you? Yes, on the house. The Node, Westlands, is where we're at. Um, so something a little bit controversial yeah so people liken you or say that you have some sort of similarity to Tiwa Savage really yes ah, they do is that a bad and thing no Good. but then they're like because of the similarity it does not enable you to shine as much as you should right so what do you have to say about that well I don't know what the similarities are um, if you can styles, tell them, your styles of, of dressing are quite similar. Um, but I've been dressed, I've been dressing like this since I came. Styles. So I don't know. <laughs> like you tell me, your music um, style is also kind of. I don't think so. And the fact that you guys, do you were, think our music style is, is kind of someone that knows Shay Shay music? I think I'll be biased, so I wouldn't say anything. No, 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 just tell the truth. That's why you do what you do. You speak to your viewers because you give them the truth. But if, if you're coming here and you're withholding certain things, then you shouldn't be doing what you do. You should tell it um, as it is. Because I've listened to both of you, yeah. I don't think you are. Right. But then this is what people are saying. Right. But that's not what you say. Yeah. So you're here to tell the truth. So tell it. But then I, I also have to ask for these people, like what they think. Yeah, but what you think matters too, because you have power right now yeah. to influence your viewers and your listeners. You have a responsibility to tell them the truth about the people that you speak to in interview. That's why we grant you interviews okay. so that you can translate Let's go and with. tell people Let's the go truth. With. I don't think your styles are similar, but then what do you have to say about it? About what? About your styles being similar and you But they're not similar. Not. So I, just, I have nothing to say. Make sure you watch it, subscribe, like and share.